It's Monday, November 14th, 2016, and I'm very excited this morning to share with you Chapter 1 from Tiger Kingdom and the Book of Destiny. But before I do that, I'd like to show you the cover for the novel, which will be published next month in December. And here it is. Um, I'll put this image on my blog as well so you can see uh, a larger picture of it. Uh, but if you can tell there, there's a castle, a boy and a girl, the main characters, and of course, a tiger. And the tiger was drawn by my illustrator. She is an artist who has been in my life for my entire life, as I said before, uh, and she normally works in paint. So I was very grateful that she agreed to draw illustrations for my book. And she also happens to be my mother, Mrs. Suzanne Hunt. So thanks, Mom. Love you. And this is all the more exciting and special to me to be completing my book with you. And without further ado now, I'll read Chapter 1, Tiger's Escape. I could hear the paws of the tigers pounding the pavement, the heaving sound of their breath against the chilly autumn air. I could see their golden eyes, striped coats glinting in the night shadows as they ran. I climbed into bed, freeing the sheet from underneath Jack's iron grasp. I tried to press my eyes closed tight, yet lay there for hours, eyes opening to the streets below, still seeing tiger stripes blazing in the light of the street lamp, still hearing the sounds of leaves rustling as they rushed past in the night, the wind moving steadily through the trees. The wailing of the sirens woke me. Jack, Jack, I cried, wake up. Beside me, my brother groaned and stirred from his sleep. Mm. He grunted and turned over, putting his pillow over his head. I'm sleeping, Suze. What is it? Don't you hear the sirens? I pulled the pillow away from him and whispered excitedly in his ear. I saw them in the street, I pointed below. Jack sat up abruptly, flipping on the lamp, his eyes wide as if his senses were suddenly aware of the sirens blaring around them. Saw who? He questioned me, getting up from his bed and looking out the porch screen to the street beyond. Who's in the street? The tigers. I saw them running past the house just minutes ago. I thought I was dreaming, but then... Tigers? You mean those big, ferocious beasts that live in the jungle? Jack snorted. You were dreaming, sis. It's probably just a policeman chasing a speeder. Go back to bed. And with that, he fell back into bed and resumed his previous position. Hey, where's my pillow? I'm not giving it back until you talk to Mama and Daddy with me. They'll want to know about the tigers. I stubbornly held his pillow to my chest. Wake them up over a dream you had? He rolled his eyes at me. It was just a dream, and you're just scared of sirens. Now give it back and go back to sleep. He reached out his long arms and grabbed for the pillow, catching its corner and swiftly releasing it from my hands. Good night, he winked at me in his victory, turned over on his side and flipped off the lamp. I stood in the dark, frowning at my brother's obvious lack of faith in his twin sister not to mention in his sense of adventure. The tigers had been real. I was sure of it. Where were they now? That was the end of chapter one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as you heard, uh, you were introduced to the two main characters there, Susie and Jack. And yes, uh, if you're wondering, Susie is based on my mom, Suzanne, also the illustrator. Uh, and Jack is also based on a real person as well, her real-life twin brother, Jack Scott. 
so thank you to both uh, Mom and Uncle Scott for allowing me uh, to put them uh, in my novel. So I, I'm so happy to have shared that with you today, and I can't wait uh, to bring the novel to readers next month in December. Meanwhile, I'll be working like mad to copy edit uh, the rest of the novel, which is written. Um, and my mom will be working on completing the pictures as well. Um, from what I've already seen, they are beautiful. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.